In this video you will learn how to make Nestler's reagent. Hello guys welcome to our YouTube channel, Source of Skills. Please like and subscribe for informative videos. First of all, take a weight balance. Power it on. Put patry dish on it. Don't forget to tear it down. Now take mercury chloride chemical. You can put this chemical into the patry dish with the help of spatula. Weight precisely 2 grams. Take 50 milliliters distilled water into a beaker. Put this chemical into distilled water. Dissolve it with the help of glass stirrer. Mercury solution is ready. Take another patry dish and put it on the weight balance. Tear the weight balance. Take potassium iodide chemical from stock bottle. Put potassium iodide into patry dish with a spatula. Weight precisely 7 grams. Now take 10 milliliters distilled water into a beaker. Put potassium iodide into it. Dissolve potassium iodide with help of glass stirrer. Potassium iodide solution is ready. Take another patry dish and put it on the weight balance. Tear the weight balance. Take NaOH chemical from stock bottle. Put this into patry dish with help of a spatula. Weight precisely 4 grams. Now take 30 milliliters distilled water into a beaker. Put NaOH chemical into it. Dissolve it with help of glass stirrer. Sodium hydroxide solution is ready. Now it's time to mix these solutions. Now take a 100 milliliters volumetric flask. Put funnel on the top of flask. Firstly, we put mercury solution into volumetric flask. Secondly, we add potassium iodide solution into volumetric flask. When adding potassium iodide solution initially, color turn into orange, then become pale yellow. Thirdly, add NaOH solution into flask. When add sodium hydroxide solution color will remain same. We know that we are making 100 milliliters Nessler's reagent. So finally, we need to add some distilled water up to 100 milliliters mark. We have successfully prepared Nessler's reagent. Thanks for watching this video.